you today. Feels like forever since I've been on video. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. I've just been crazy busy. Got my co-pilot here today. Um, yeah. So I thought I'd bring you in for the morning drive. And, uh, have a chat with you. You know. Uh, I'm looking very emo today, I guess. <laughs> got my cargo pants on. I've got my dragon boat shirt on and I got my on my uh, what do you call it <laughs> I can't even think this morning my toque thing that um, George made me Blah. Um, yeah it's been kind of chilly here it's sunny it's like nice in the afternoon but it's a little chilly in the mornings. It's 17 this morning. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, trying to drink a cup of coffee when you're going over bumps. Not a good idea. It's illegal to be drinking and driving anyway, but I need my coffee. So, George has gone to Penticton, which is, you know, about six hours away for his last Dragon Boat Festival of the season. I usually go with him, but um, I just I, I just need to be at the shop. Um, Christmas is coming and it's coming up fast. Okay, you guys, this stupid camera. I wish I had a better setup for you guys. Um, Hang on. Okay, I'm sure that you guys are going to slip down again, but for now, this is the view you're going to have. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's in, in the Okanagan right now. He's there for three, well, he left on Thursday night. No, he left on Friday morning. Today's Saturday. He won't be coming home until Monday. So this is actually the first time in our marriage, in our relationship really, where he's gone away for a long extended period of time. Um, and I'm left at home alone. So I'm uh, experiencing some stuff. Uh, and I knew I would. I knew, I knew this was going to come about. And I prepared, somewhat prepared myself for it. Um, I knew it was going to bring up some negative memories uh, of when I lost my husband. My, my, Scott, my other husband. <laughs> um, I was a widow when I met George. So, um, yeah, I knew it was going to kind of give me the same vibes as that when I woke up the next day and realized that Scott was gone and wasn't coming home. Um, it was, it was tough. It was really tough. That feeling of emptiness and guttural pain was intense and I don't wish that on anybody um, <clears throat> so I knew that I was gonna get some similar similar feelings in this so uh, you know waking up to an empty house going to bed with an empty house you know um, and just the emptiness of the house uh, thank God for Bailey um, she's keeping me sane. Um, I just had a homeless person try and walk out in front of me. He's looking at his phone. Not even paying attention. <laughs> See, told you guys we're going to slip down. 
Um, so anyway, um, I, I'm trying to treat it as every other day where, you know, George is already at work and I, you know, just waiting for him to come home, you know. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, he did call me this last night um, before bed called me this morning to tell me how his races were going so that helps <clears throat> I don't feel like this, it's he's completely gone <clears throat> I do worry about the trip that he's on Hello. <laughs> I do worry about the trip um, it's a pretty ah, it's a pretty nasty road that he has to travel on to get up there and home the Coquihalla, I believe, is closed because they had a slide. So he has to take the old number three road, which is like like this and embankments, like hundreds of feet down embankments. That road is bad at the best of times. So, <coughs> sorry guys. Throat's bugging me today. Um, yeah. So, anyways, he's uh, he'll be coming home on Monday. So it'll give me time to get the house clean and I'll have a clean house for half a day. <laughs> um, I came home last night and I was just begged. I just like I did the dishes, but that was about it. So I still have a disaster of a house. I'm stressed to the hilt right now because Christmas is coming really fast. Uh, my family is going to be coming for Christmas. It's going to be Axel and Mason's first real Christmas. Um, and, well, it will be it will be Mason's first Christmas and Axel's second Christmas, but Axel was just born. He was born on December 17th, so so technically this is kind of like the first Christmas, right? And uh, so I wanted to make it really special for them. And I'm just, I'm feeling, I don't know how to say, how to explain it. Um, financially, we, like my shop, my shop isn't going to be making money for a couple of years, at least, you know. <clears throat> um, so I'm starting to feel like my shop is a hobby shop. Um, I'm making the sales, like I'm making sales, but it's not like big sales. Like I'm making a couple thousand dollars a month or whatever, you know, or a week or whatever. Not like the other shops. I'm still building my community. Uh, I'm actually, I, I have a few things that I'm, oops, that I'm working on. God darn it. I have a few things I'm working on um, for the shop. I have some connections to the community and I'm gonna put a call out to all the knitters and crocheters in my community to do some volunteer work in the sense of making hats and scarves and everything for the homeless and also making stuff for our museum which is it's a um, logging museum I guess you would say uh, and they have a gift shop and the gift shop is what they rely on to keep the museum going so uh, they are in need of things to put in their shop. So I thought, wow, we can work on that. Uh, their season is about to come to a close. So we'll have, um, you know, a few months to be able to get some stock ready for them. But right now we need to do the other one for the homeless uh, because they're going to need that. 
So anyway, uh, so I'm working on that. What else? Um, the, oh, the sweater that I'm doing for Ursel, Ursel, uh, that with the butterfly on it. I finally finished it last night. I am now going to be giving it to um, uh, Alice, who works at another shop um, with my friend Angela. Not that Angela, not Precious Yarnery Angela, but another Angela. I've got three Angelas in my life right now. Um, she's got the shop opposites attract that I talked to you about that had the mushroom. Yeah, my mushroom's starting to go, guys. I'm so excited. Um, so anyways, she works with her, and she's a sewer, and I've got some stuff going with her, too, uh, hopefully. But I'm going to give it to her, and she's going to sew the butterfly on the sweater with transparent um, thread, so... We've got people on this bridge right here that stand on there with Canada flags and they're, you know, they, they always wave at the people on the weekends. So, I always wave back. <laughs> but anyway, she's going to be putting the butterfly on for me and then uh, Ursula's going to get her sweater. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm, it's, it took me quite some time. When I get to the shop, I'll show you guys the sweater. But it, it took a long time for me to finish this sweater because of things going on and the stitch that I was doing. Oh, excuse me. Oh. And uh, the fact that I have, you know, had people, you know, at the shop that, you know, wanted to talk to me or that were coming in and I had to deal with them. I had to keep putting the sweater down. So... <laughs> Then I get home, and then I'd be too tired to work on it. I, it was a thing, but it's done. It's done. I am so happy. Um, I think I missed the uh, um, the fair that I wanted to put it in. I think that was this weekend, <sighs> which really sucks. But that's okay. Uh, at least I know about it and now I can make something for next year and enter it enter it in that but anyway um, what else oh Kimmy from Kim's Crochet and Knits she's doing great apparently uh, Angela has been keeping me posted keeping me updated and I got a message from Kimmy herself she's drugged up but and she's in a lot of pain but she's doing good so, hi Kimmy, I don't know if you're ever going to watch this, but, <laughs> um, but uh, I am so happy for her, and I'm, I'm praying for her, so keep her in your prayers, uh, go over to her channel, give her some love, she posted a picture of herself um, on her Facebook page, and considering that she just had a lung transplant, she's looking pretty darn good. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, yeah, so my thoughts are with her every day. Uh, <clears throat> my thoughts are with Angela as well because Angela is stressed right out. Oh, go give Angela some love on her channel too. I'll have both the links down below. Angela is just, I mean, Kimmy's one of her besties, right? And so she's... She's been dealing with a lot of stress about this, and Angela can't be under stress because then she has seizures, and that's not good either. So I'm, I'm worried about Angela all the time. It's like we're all worried about each other, <laughs> which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, so that makes me happy that Kimmy's doing good. Oh, what else? I know I've got a lot to talk to you guys about, and I can't think of a thing right now. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm still waking up. But, oh, I'm making a 
poncho thingy. Not like the poncho I did before. This is a square poncho. Um, so maybe I'll do some video clips of me crocheting that and talk about it a little bit more. Um, my niece Michelle is starting to make my pickles now. She made three. She brought them to the shop. Oh, and my, my niece got her driver's license. She got her and um, so congratulations. <laughs> um, she's so happy about that. I mean, it's a little late in life, but you know what? She got it. This is good. Uh, cause you know, she's got her son now and she's going to need that. So, so that's cool. Axel and Tia are doing well. Oh, they got a new place. They're moving. Um, so now it's, I'm, I'm so happy that they're actually getting into a place. But their rent is like three times the amount that it was. And I'm just like, <laughs> oh my, I'm so glad I don't live in the city anymore. And holy crap. Um, yeah, James is, um, uh, for those of you that are new on my channel, uh, my daughter is, my daughter's partner is James Luke. And he was on the show Highway Through Hell. It's a Canadian show. Um, and he's, I don't think, I think Highway Through Hell is no longer. I think they're doing one, the one more season. Um, and then he, I don't think he's going to be on the show anymore. Well, the show won't be there. So this season is the season that they are going to be showing her uh, their gender reveal. So for those of you out there that watch High Rain Through Hell, um, that is going to be a thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's, he's now doing other things. He's working for a construction com company. And it's actually kind of ironic because my daughter Tia went to school to learn how to um, operate heavy machinery never got a chance to use that um, because COVID hit and then she couldn't get a job and then she got pregnant so but now the company that James is with is going to be training him to do heavy equipment that guy knows how to do all of it like everything he does the towing he does the hauling he does like he can pretty much run any kind of machine I think he's um He's very knowledgeable in, in a lot of that. So that's what he's going to be doing. And so they're going to be moving. They're only moving about 10 minutes away from where they were. So, um, yeah. So Tia's over the moon happy. Um, they're going to have a, a lot more room to be able to handle uh, their big dog. And Axel, <laughs> which I'm Axel and uh, Cleo, her dog, are the best of friends. She keeps sending me videos of the two of them together, and I tell you, that dog, for being as big as she is, is so calm and so patient with Axel. It's amazing. It's so cute seeing them together. They're going to grow up together, and uh, I just love that for, for Axel. <clears throat> so, yeah. Okay. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll, I'll do some video. Oh, I'll talk about some stuff that I'm going to be doing at the shop um, on Sunday. Well, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to be rearranging the shop again. I have a nine foot mural, cloth mural coming for that back wall. And uh, so, yeah. <sighs> yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a big day. My sister's gonna come and help me. And we're gonna amp up the shop for Christmas. So, yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you in a bit. Hey, I'm back. Okay, I gotta show you guys this quick before Ursula comes into the shop. I saw her this morning. She said she was gonna be coming back in. So here's the sweater I was making. 
I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll show you the back. So there's the sleeves. That's the back. And then this is, oops, it shows up better on here. This is the stitch. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the butterfly on the back. Okay. So let's see if I can put you guys that way. So here's the butterfly. And this is going to go on the back of the sweater. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Right? It's going to be beautiful. Okay, hang on. I've got to put it back in the bag. All right, so that's done. I just got to give it to Alice to put the butterfly on the back. So I got to message her and uh, get her to, you know, get it. And then I'm starting a rectangular poncho, I guess it is. It's going to have a, a turtleneck on it. And this is... Hey, I'm talking to my, my subscribers. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> here is the pattern. I don't know if you can see that. Um, <clears throat> this is a really interesting, um, an interesting pattern. I've never done this stitch before. I don't even know what this stitch is called, but um, it makes for a really thick uh, material. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, when it gets washed then it'll loosen up but right now it's kind of stiff it's all it's similar to the feather stitch in a way um, but it's turning out really nice so it goes like this and this is gonna be and then this is gonna be the neck hole and then you do the other side and it's pretty much all one piece except when I finish doing like five inches or whatever the heck it is, then I start on the other side. Hello, darling. <laughs> want to say hi? Hi. You, do you want, say, want me to see me? Do you want to say hi? This is Angela. This is the one I'm telling you about from Opposites of Track. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you a picture of her yesterday oh my god this girl she makes me laugh all the time all the time like she leaves little things in my store to make me laugh and then like every time I get up and walk away she's got stuff hanging out like she put this on my desk yesterday it's a little cat right and the head turns so I thought that was really cute. She's selling them in her shop. And then Miles comes over and he says, oh, you got a cat? And I says, yeah. He says, it's a boy cat. And I says, how do you know it's a boy cat? And he says, turn it around. <laughs> Can you see that? Hello. Now Miles is in here looking at me like, what are you doing? Hold that open. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. So anyway, so he was saying, yeah, look at it. <laughs> really? <laughs> and then they leave like little stuff like this. I think it's a dog. <laughs> it's like a little jelly dog. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I've got this whole collection. This monkey, oh, where is it? This monkey is one of the ones that Miles put in my shop, like when I first started here. <sighs> yeah, 
So I'm always finding little critters in my shop. <laughs> so anyway. So yeah, so anyways, this stitch that I'm doing here is, it's kind of cool actually. Cause you go, like I don't know if I can show this to you guys properly, but you go yarn over, you go into the stitch, pull up, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, and then pull through all of them. And then when you go to do the next stitch, you're actually not going into this stitch, you're going back into this stitch. So you're going back into that one, pulling up a loop, yarning over, then going into the next loop, yarning over, pulling up and going through. So it's interconnected, like each stitch is interconnected. So that's how, and then you don't have spaces in between. And that's how you get like the really pillowy kind of look to it. So, yeah. Um, I'll leave the link down below for this pattern. It's in Mex Spanish, I believe. Um, but if you put your caps on, then you can see what she's saying. And she's really easy to follow. Um, you can kind of get little snippets of words <clears throat> and she, the way she shows it, it's, it's pretty basic. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, what else? I'm not sure. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this. She actually put my name and everything on it. <laughs> the girls here now know me at the coffee shop. <laughs> so I either get latte or um, lavender latte or chai latte and sometimes matcha latte. So they know me pretty well. <laughs> I actually got uh, gifted to me from Steve at the British shop because I'm his moosh. <laughs> He doesn't call anybody that. Um, so I am quite honored that he is, you know, feels that way. And, you know, every day now when I come to the shop, it's not like, you know, hey, Steve, you know, it's like now he's, I go, you know, hello, darling. And he goes, hello, lovey. You know, and so we've got a nice rapport now. Um, I wasn't too sure about him when I first got here because he's brash. He's cogni um, English, like, like, yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> at first I didn't like him, and now we've kind of ha we have an understanding, and uh, we're both writers, so that was that kind of bridged the gap quite a bit. So we started talking writing, and so now it's. You know, he buys me coffee, I buy him coffee, we talk, we, you know, and now they're leaving. <laughs> so, you know, I told him, I says, I'm going to walk down the, down the street and go and visit you guys. And he goes, no, you're not. And I says, yeah, I am. He says, you're not welcome. <laughs> I'm like, I'm mush. I'm allowed to. <laughs> so, <laughs> he just smiles. So, anyway. Um, yeah. I don't think there's anything here for me to show you guys that you guys don't already know about. Um, my yarn, my uh, sock yarn should be coming in next Wednesday. So um, I can show you all of that when it comes in. <clears throat> I will do video. Maybe I'll, uh, no, I won't attach it to this video. I'll attach it to the next video of the shifting everything around and how the shop's going to look. <clears throat> um, I don't have my mural. My mural is going to be all along this wall. So, yeah. Um, whoops. <laughs> uh, it's a nine foot mural, so <clears throat> it's going to be interesting. I may have to paint 
like this section and then a section on the other side, like a dark green or something. Um, but we'll figure it out at that time. So, oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not. Jeanette from Miss Hootie. Oh, she changed her name. It was Miss Hootie Hootenin's Crafts. What does she call it now? Miss Hootie's Craft, I think. Um, <clears throat> she's going to be making stuff for the shop. I'm so excited. Um, it's, uh, yeah, and she's sending me some yarn um, for myself and for the shop. And so I am so pumped. I don't know how long it's going to take to get here. She just mailed it yesterday. So when that comes in, I'll show you guys that as well. I'm excited because I told her, I said, I'm only one person. I can't do it all. You know, like I can't make all the sweaters and make all the amigurumi and all that. Um, I'm not make. I'm not doing any more commissioned stuff uh, until after Christmas. I don't think because I just can't do it. I can't do it all, right? So, <clears throat> yeah. So I'm. I'm looking really emu, emu, emo, emo, whatever. Grunge. I'm looking grunge. That's what it is. I got my camo pants on. I got my my dragon boat shirt on. My camo pants. <laughs> I don't look like a shop owner right now. <laughs> so, anyway. It's the weekend. Ever. And I have a... I've got a dog here. I've got her blanket under here. You know, but she she likes to sleep on the... Um, the cold tile. Oh, that reminds me. This is a lady um, that owns a shop here. She brought this in yesterday. It's a blanket that her mom made her. It's an heirloom. It's definitely made out of the old, old Super Saver. It's very plasticky feel. But um, she wants me to fix it because there's big holes in it. And so I'm going to be fixing that for her. It shouldn't take me very long, I don't think. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyways, Steve's getting a little loud over there, so I'm going to let you guys go. Um, but thanks for joining me, and I will talk to you guys later. Love you all, miss you, and uh, yeah, hopefully bit bigger, better things are going to be coming soon. Okay, I love you. Bye.